The way I see it, there are two strategies of which guitars you would buy, which guitars you would own, and I'm on the other end of where this guitar lives. This is a PRS SE Hollow Body 2 with the acoustic pickup. Uh, with the piezo. The most captivating and beautiful part about this guitar to me is the finish. This is a beautiful dog hair finish. Now the only other brand that I know of that's offering this kind of finish is the Callings and they're way, 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 way more expensive. And uh, so I think that this is a super cool feature for this guitar. And um, it's made it very hard for me to, uh, to give this one back. I wanna hang on to this one. Listen, this is a solution to a problem that I'm typically on the other end of, which is why I think that this might be helpful. Now, this video is sponsored by Paul Reed Smith. They let me borrow this guitar and they gave me this guitar. Um, you may have seen this in one of the other videos. But while this video is technically sponsored, they are paying for my time. They're not paying for my opinion. And so I'm probably gonna ruffle some feathers on both sides of the fence with this. But, okay, this guitar, <clears throat> There's typically two ways that you would get guitars. You would either get a hyper-focused, laser-focused, one kind of guitar that does one kind of thing really, really well. That's usually where I go. I go for like a straight-up Telecaster that is just bitey and direct and sounds like a Telecaster in all of its glory and all of its wonder. Or I go for a super spanky Strat that is just absolutely Strat-sounding. I don't usually get guitars that are incredibly diverse. I don't go for one guitar that's a Swiss Army knife that could cover all the tones that I need. And so that's where this guitar is on the total other end of this spectrum. This guitar is made to do two things, and it does them pretty well. But I wonder, is this guitar trying to cover too much ground, and is this guitar, in the words of one of my favorite poems, soaked and choked and wrung by compromise? So this guitar is trying to do two things. Is this guitar compromised? So let's hear it. This is the PRS SE transducer. This is a full hollow. This has the humbucker pickups from them. These are the 5815S pickups. And then also it's going into two different amps. <clears throat> it also has an acoustic pickup. So over on your uh, right side, we're going through a Fender Deluxe Reverb Tone Master. Deluxe Reverb Tone Master. And uh, we're going the DI out into a Zoom H5 right here in front of you. Now on the other side, we have a Fender Acoustic FX2, probably my favorite acoustic guitar amplifier. Um, it's just a monster, and so I have that. I'm not even doing anything fancy with that. I'm not doing a DI. I've got an SM57 in front of that. Then, right down here below me, I have a Morley ABY switch that I can go back and forth between different amplifiers. And so I'm gonna quick click between the two and I'll have this footage uh, somewhere up here so that you can see all of it. So first let's run through electric guitar tones, then we'll go for acoustic guitar tones, and then I'll come back with my thoughts, comments, and slanderous remarks at the end. So here we go. Now let's try the acoustic pickup. All right, it sounds like it's clipping and looking at this, even though it's not, I'm not hitting zero decibels, but I am overdriving. So I'm going to turn the volume down on the acoustic pickup just to scooch.
there are two very distinct sounds that come out of this guitar. Now, if you don't want to use two amplifiers, that's where I've been trying to figure out how would you use this and who would you use this. I'll come back to those in a minute. But if you were not to use two amplifiers in the way that I'm doing it, like a full-blown acoustic amp, which no one, almost no one buys these amps. I don't know if that's true, but it feels anecdotally true for both working in a guitar shop and being a, an acoustic guitar player. Most people don't buy a nice acoustic guitar amp, they just rely on a PA. So the other thing is like, well, if you have this, you're probably not an acoustic guitar player, you probably just want to sound like an acoustic guitar player, and so you would have one amp. So let's try the deluxe reverb. Now I'm going to turn it down, I'm at four right now, uh, and I'm going to keep the volume down on the PA, so pickup, and I'm going to see if this sounds okay. How does this sound with an acoustic pickup? I'm concerned. Okay, still overdriving. Let me turn the amp down. Well, I think it's pretty passable. fire things I don't like about this guitar. I don't like the controls uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, they're not super intuitive. You have a volume and a tone that work for the three-way selector and the electric guitar. And then the acoustic guitar, you only have a volume that doesn't do anything other than volume. All the way up, it seems to overdrive pretty much any of the preamps that I'm putting it into, which means I just have to roll it off to like five or six. I wish it was at five or six was 10, and there was more nuance and more control. I also wish that there was some level of tone control. And uh, so for me, it's just the acoustic pickup is a party trick. It's an afterthought. It's a bit of a gimmick. I don't think it takes away from the whole guitar, but I wish that it was more thoughtfully put out. Now the other thing that is kind of confusing and annoying is that there are two outputs. One is just the electric guitar, the other one is both blended. When you're jumping between acoustic guitar tones, there is there is no quick, like all of a sudden I'm into a different tone. You have to roll the volume down, you have to turn the volume up on the other one, you have to remember that it'll overdrive if you go all the way up, and then you have to come back. So overall, that's my rapid fire things I don't like about this guitar. In a guitar that's $1,500, that's pretty good. Um, I think you could fix a lot of those problems. You could have an EQ on the ground and you could just remember and get to know the guitar so that rapid fire you could change. But I think that within, if you have a quick change, like if you're playing uh, like an acoustic part in a song and all of a sudden you have to jump into the lead, if the whole band would come back in and you have to jump into a lead on the electric guitar side, the chances of you not having the acoustic pickup on, like turning the acoustic pickup down and turning the electric guitar pickup up in the time that you need to switch and do all the stuff and hit the right notes and look cool and all of the things, I think your chance is very low. 3%, 5%, um, maybe, maybe people are better and faster than me, but I think just that bit of using the farthest expanses of how this guitar can serve you as a musician, just a little tricky. So overall, that's my rapid fire of things I don't like.
So I do think that this guitar is convincible to be an acoustic guitar in the way of sounding like a bar gig acoustic guitar from the early 2000s, late 90s. It sounds very quacky, very piezo. It doesn't sound like an acoustic guitar. Like an acoustic guitar, if you put mics in front of it, unless it's a really cheap acoustic guitar, like a cheap all laminate guitar, it's not going to sound that shrill, that brittle, that bright. Um, but we have just so long been told and come to expect that level of tone from an acoustic guitar plugged in that we now have nostalgia tied to it. So if you're an acoustic guitar player coming into an electric guitar, this guitar probably doesn't sound great to you. But if you're an electric guitar player that wants to sound like an acoustic guitar player, this thing probably works pretty well. So who is this guitar for in my opinion? I think that this guitar is for the same audience as the Fender Acoustasonic. And I really actually love those guitars. I've had two of them. I've had the Jazzmaster and I've had the Player Tele. I think the Player Tele for 1200 bucks or whatever it's going for now is unbelievably good for acoustic guitar tones and it has a pretty fake sounding electric guitar tone. So to that, it feels like that guitar is the exact opposite of this guitar. This guitar is a full blown, full power, awesome PRS, uh, full hollow acoustic guitar, or, uh, full hollow electric guitar that sounds jazzy and bluesy and soulful and just really like a powerful electric guitar. And it has a party trick that is, it can also sound like an acoustic guitar. Now it's complicated to you have to use a lot of brain power to keep track of how to control this guitar. So as I continue thinking through who this guitar is for, I think that this guitar is for someone that is an electric guitar player who wants to have occasional acoustic guitar tones um, and they just need it to be passable. Now the other thing is acoustic guitars and electric guitars are very different. So the feel of them, while this guitar has their big vintage profile on the neck, it still comes with like probably nines or probably 10, uh, the strings are probably 10s. I have put them up to a 10 to 50 to try and get it to feel a little more like an acoustic guitar. Um, it still doesn't quite sound like it and the pickup is very hot. And so I've always just had to dial off the volume. Actually, true, uh, true story and confession, this is the second time I'm filming this video because the first time I did it, it ended up being all of the acoustic guitar tones were just overdriven and didn't sound good. Even though they weren't hitting the meter um, on the recorder, they were still overdriving through the amplifier itself. So I've backed off the volume to try and get it to just be a little more chill and a little more usable. I don't think that someone would have the, the, the forethought or like, the presence of mind if you're using this guitar in the way that I think people would use it. You're playing in a bar and you're, you know, for half of the set you're going to do acoustic stuff and you're going to flip back and forth. I think that you would just forget and leave the volume all the way up. So I think that this guitar is not perfect, but it is for somebody who, here's who I think of. I think this is for somebody that wants a great sounding electric guitar, needs the party trick of the acoustic guitar tones, also wants a lighter guitar, doesn't want a big acoustic guitar. I think also if you continue kind of who the, the Fender Acoustasonic was aimed after. I think it's somebody that wants a trusted name that builds their guitar and they want uh, something that's easy on their back. So probably bad back, probably older, uh, probably a little more thoughtful, a little more diverse in their guitar playing. If it were me, I would still do a badass electric guitar and a really thoughtful, cool acoustic guitar. That's just me. I've always been kind of uh, have a specialized tool for a specialized job rather than a Swiss Army knife. But with all of that said, the quality on this guitar is unbelievable. All of the PRS SEs to me, it's really hard for me to make a case for a, a guitar that's twice the price and just happens to be made by CNC's in the US rather than CNC's overseas. Um, the fretwork is amazing on these. They play great, they sound really good, and you can upgrade. They have this full infrastructure of parts and pieces. If you wanna upgrade them and make them feel better, I think get an SE and then hot rod it. It's a really cool ecosystem that doesn't break the bank. It's not insane. So anyway, that's all I have for this video. I think that this guitar overall is a cool tool that would cover a lot of ground. I think it's a great electric guitar with a party trick. So thanks for watching. Thanks to Paul Reed Smith for letting me borrow this guitar. I'm Jeremy, this is Guitar Hunter. Make sure you subscribe. If you want sweet merch like this, there's a link down in the description down below. Um, ways to support the channel. Number one, buy merch. Number two, just click like and subscribe. Number three, become a patron or a channel member. Get back, get behind the scenes uh, in, interaction with me, special content, early access to, to merch, and just uh, 
uh, become part of the Guitar Hunter family and community. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. Hasta luego. Bye.